Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages. Slick coming back at you with another video. And before we even get started, go ahead and like and subscribe. I appreciate it. myself as I have been as of late um, a lot Hollywood's busy doing inshore charters and commercial fishing he's a he's a commercial we're both commercial fishermen but he does commercial fishing on his boat I do commercial fishing on my boat sometimes we work together a lot of times we don't uh, today is been raining all day and it's just now stopping there is a hit and miss trout bite offshore or not offshore but up and down the beach and I'm gonna go try to see if I can capitalize on that by myself um, with that being said that will be another video if I'm successful but this video right here I've never really seen anybody do this video so I'm gonna do it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna video me going through the S curve at Harker's Island Barnes Inlet on my contender it's a very sketchy place. Those of you that have been through it, hit the like button. Those of you that have been stuck in it, comment. Or like and comment. So, I've been stuck on it. I've been fishing down here for 40 years. You know, I've been running boats down here by myself for 30 years, and every now and then you hit something. You know, you hit sand bottom. That sand moves so much, you just never know. Especially when we come through there in the dark. I mean, I don't care what kind of electronics you have on your boat. I mean, it's so skinny through there that uh, it's dangerous and it's very easy to get stuck. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through there and some local guys as well as some what we call wizards or people from up the hill, weekenders, have marked this channel time and time again. We've marked it with poles, PVC poles, wooden poles, buoys, buckets, floating debris. I mean, you name it, we've done everything we can to mark it. And it seems like it lasts for about a month and then it goes away. Well, these last set of markers that have been put out include gas cans, bumper buoys, uh, poly balls, anything that float, bleach bottles, you know, empty bleach bottles, of course, uh, to mark this channel. And they've been staying pretty well you know where they need to be and uh, so I'm gonna turn this video camera around I'm gonna get on plane and I'm gonna go through there and then during the video I'll probably do some voiceover because you're not gonna be able to hear it because I have my curtains up because it's it's nice out today man it's like 67 degrees I believe is what I said in my truck these trout these these beach trout are so hit and miss man it's like you have to be here they'll bite on a Tuesday insane bite just nasty insane by you can't every time you drop your jig in the water you get bit and then Wednesday nobody will get a bite there. so I haven't heard any reports of yesterday or today because it's Thanksgiving but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try so like I said that'll be a later video this one will be going through the S curve between Harper's Island and the Outer Banks Cape Lookout North Carolina heading out of Barton's Inlet pay close attention very close attention all right I'll see y'all in the S-curve. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Now, to get started on this trek, you line the ferry system buoys up directly off your stern and point directly at the lighthouse, and that will take you in the general direction of where I am headed right now. So, as you can see, I'm getting up to the first poly ball that is out in the channel. You're going to want to go around this poly ball, kind of swerve to the left. Then you'll see the next red poly ball, and you'll head straight to that, keeping the red off of your left side. These markers are made to 
match the channel coming back from the lighthouse. So once you get to that next poly ball on the left, you're going to swerve back to the right very carefully. Now on the right side, there are green and white buoys or like jugs that people have left out there. And when you get to the last, the third red poly ball on your left, you're going to make a sharp turn right here. Because if you don't, you'll be in about eight inches of water. Now, if you're looking at the satellite map, you'll see that I'm not exactly on the channels that show on that photograph, but that's because it's not right. And it changes every week, you know, every, at least every time we have a storm or a big blow, it changes. So always pay attention. But as of right now, this is your best route. So we're going to do it again. I'm repeating the same thing I said before. Keep the ferry system buoys or channel markers off of your stern head directly towards the lighthouse towards Morgan's Island you're gonna to get to the first set of buoys you want to split them there's a red one on the left a uh, poly ball and a, a, a right jug on the right you're gonna go very easily you're gonna turn probably about a 10 15 degree angle you're gonna to head to the next red marker once you get to the next red marker, you're going to swerve a little bit right. If you pay attention to the bow of my boat, you can kind of see how I'm going to turn a little bit to the right. I'm swinging just a little bit right here. Then we're going to head to the next marker, which again is a red poly ball, I believe, on the left side. And like I said, these change about once a month because they get floated away or blown away or whatever. This channel moves. And then once we get around this, we split the two. Sharp turn to the left almost like a 90 degree turn and then you're going to head and keep your the fourth red marker on your left and the green or white jug on your right and again this is going towards the lighthouse you're going to go towards the red markers and you're going to very easily swerve back off to the right and once you veer into that channel it's just a straight shot pretty much to the lighthouse and then you can follow the buoys from there so like comment on the video if you want me to do more navigational stuff like this i'm sure i'm going to catch crap for helping people out get through there but i would rather help somebody out than to watch somebody like we always do almost every at least once a week somebody's on one of those sandbars with ripped up lower units bent skegs you know bent props or somebody's kid has fell down and knocked their tooth out on the gun so comment let me know if you want to see more see you out there in the water thanks for watching see you on the next one Thank <laughs> you.